Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel, and today's topic of discussion is amp clamps. Our objective is to take a quick look at a super handy instrument used to measure current known as the amp clamp, alternatively known as a current clamp, clamping ammeter, or clamp meter. It's an ammeter with all the good stuff and none of the bad. Actually, it does have its limitations, but its limitations are small in comparison to its practicality and ease of use. An ammeter, if you recall, is a device used to measure current in units of amps through an electrical circuit. The ammeter is a single point flow rate measurement that must be placed in series or in line with the element under test. This necessitates the messy and time consuming task of powering down a circuit, breaking the circuit at the chosen point of insertion, inserting the DMM in ammeter mode, then powering the circuit up to obtain a single current reading. Wouldn't it be great to have an ammeter that could measure current through a circuit simply by being in close proximity to a circuit? Well, you can. This device is known as an amp clamp, otherwise known as a current clamp, a clamping ammeter, a clamp meter, or a clam meter. I have special affection for the name amp clamp because it sounds super cool, but be aware of different industries calling it different things. Please avoid the term clam meter at all costs. It sounds something like a fisherman would use, not an aspiring technician. An amp clamp is an instrument used to measure current through a conductor, just like an ammeter. However, it does not require circuit modifications nor direct insertion into the circuit. An amp clamp has a pair of opening jaws that clamp, get it, around the current carrying conductor of interest. This is especially handy for taking current measurements on semi-permanent electrical installations that are difficult to modify. As we'll learn in later lectures, moving charges have an associated magnetic field, where the direction of the magnetic field is related to the direction of charge movement and the strength of the magnetic field is proportional to the quantity of moving charges. The presence of the magnetic field in a current carrying conductor allows current to be measured without having to make physical contact with the conductor, nor the messy necessity of modifying the circuit for insertion. This is a major time saver, but it does have limitations that you need to be aware of. First, amp clamps don't measure really small values of current very well because the associated magnetic field surrounding the current carrying conductor is very weak. Next, Amp clamps don't measure DC current very well because the circuitry inside most amp clamps is actually more sensitive to changing magnetic fields associated with AC current rather than fixed ones associated with DC current. Finally, as easy as these things are to use, you can still screw it up. First, to get an accurate reading, the current carrying conductor needs to be centered inside the clamping mechanism. Secondly, only one current carrying conductor can be inside the clamping mechanism at a time. The inclusion of two or more current carrying conductors inside the clamping mechanism at the same time may result in an erroneous reading because the magnetic fields coalesce and can negate each other's effects, such that the amp clamp falsely reads no current, even though each wire could equally be carrying thousands of amps in opposite directions. This drawback is especially apparent when the supply and return conductors are both combined in a single insulated wire. Despite these limitations, they simply cannot outweigh the amp clamp's ease of use. Clamp it around a single conductor. Even when the system is running, and read the measured current on the display. This is especially handy for bare bones basic troubleshooting scenarios. Who cares about the magnitude of current? Is there current in a line or is there not? This is akin to continuity testing using a DMM in ohm meter mode. Who cares about resistance? Is there an electrical connection or is there no connection? For the purposes of today's lecture, we'll be making use of the Mega DCM 340 clamp meter. Ordinarily, when I feature a piece of test equipment in lectures, I give a disclaimer saying it's neither an exhaustive review nor an endorsement of this particular manufacturer or model. However, I must admit I have a special fondness for this particular tool for one important reason. The Mega DCM340 measures DC current. Not all amp clamps can do this. This is an especially important feature for renewable energy applications like photovoltaic panels or DC systems in off-grid houses, boats, or vehicles that necessitate DC current measurements. To place the MEGA DCM340 in DC amp clamp mode, simply turn the dial to one of two selections, up to 400 amps DC or up to 600 amps DC signified by a straight line. Let's use the smaller 400 amp scale. To measure current in a system, one simply opens the jaws of the amp clamp, inserts the current carrying conductor in the center, then closes the amp clamp. The amp clamp demonstrates 1.4 amps of DC current is flowing through the single wire. In addition to measuring magnitude, DC amp clamps like the Mega DCM340 can also be used to determine the direction of current flow. The positive magnitude of this 1.4 amps demonstrates current flows in the front of the amp clamp and out the back, i.e. out of the battery and into an electrical load. This battery is being discharged. If we're to maintain the orientation of the amp clamp, 
and we turned off the electrical load and plugged the battery into a charger, the amp clamp now displays negative three amps, meaning three amps of conventional current is coming in the back of the amp clamp and out the front, i.e. out of the charger and into the battery. This battery is being charged. You note the use of the amp clamp did not necessitate we power off the circuit, modify the circuit to include an ammeter in series and power it back on, but rather we simply clamp the jaws around the current carrying conductor of interest and read a number. This is a major time saver and the principal reason amp clamps are employed in the field. It's so easy. This being said, you can still screw it up. Here's an example of incorrect placement of an amp clamp where two current carrying wires, both carrying 4.8 amps, one incoming and the other outgoing, yields a false measurement of 0.3 amps. In this case, the equal and opposite magnetic fields are almost canceling each other out. Again, amp clamps can only measure current through one conductor at a time. Since amp clamps are so easy to use, this discussion is brief enough to allow us to explore some additional features in the Mega DCM340. Beyond DC current measurement, the Mega DCM340 includes additional functions found on most portable DMMs, including AC voltage, DC voltage, resistance and continuity, AC current and frequency. Let's do a quick demonstration of each function and call it a day. The three bottom functions, AC voltage, DC voltage, resistance and continuity, make use of external test leads similar to an ordinary DMM. For background information on voltmeters and ohmmeters, be sure to check out the supporting material at the Big Bad Tech channel. In AC voltmeter mode, the Mega DCM340 demonstrates roughly 120 volts RMS appears from line and neutral in a residential AC outlet. In DC voltmeter mode, the Mega DCM340 demonstrates roughly 13.1 volts appears across the terminals of a battery undergoing the float stage of the charge process. In ohmmeter mode, the Mega DCM340 demonstrates I've adjusted this potentiometer to exactly 300 ohms. When I increase the resistance above 400 ohms, the DCM340 indicates over limit. Connection still exists, however we're just over the limits of this device. The audible continuity test sounds a tone for any resistance reading of less than 30 ohms. This is a handy feature because a technician doesn't need to look at the display to interpret numbers. If it beeps, there's a connection of less than 30 ohms. If it doesn't beep, there isn't. The top four functions, AC current, two ranges of DC current and frequency, use the jaws as I've previously demonstrated. Among other applications, the AC current clamp can be used to measure current in three-phase AC systems and inrush. In ordinary circumstances, current inside a balanced three-phase AC load is equal in magnitude. For example, consider the slightly loaded one-third horsepower three-phase AC motor drawing 0.9 amps or 900 milliamps in each phase. This is the balanced condition. If however the system lost connection to one of these phases, in this case L3, it would no longer be balanced. Current in the remaining phases L1 and L2 increases to 1.4 amps, and the current in the lost phase L3 drops to 0 amps. Amp clamps make the discovery of the lost phase a very simple task. Lock it out, tag it out, and fix the problem. Additionally, an amp clamp can be used in real time to measure the magnitude of inrush, the momentary surge of current experienced when a motor is energized by a full voltage across the line or direct online starter. Here the Mega DCM340 in AC amp clamp mode demonstrates the motor experiences a momentary surge of 7.7 .7 amps, and after it comes up to speed, current stabilizes at roughly 0.9 amps. In addition to these modes, the Mega DCM340 includes an array of additional functions, including a data hold function, as well as a backlit display if you find yourself working in the dark, a min-max button, a peak button, and a zero function used for relative measurements. In summary, the amp clamp is just like an ammeter with all the good stuff and more and none of the bad. All right, that's about it for today. We'll make use of amp clamps in later application exercises. In conclusion, this lecture took a brief look at the amp clamp, a means of measuring current without the necessity of physical contact, nor the time consuming and messy modification of a circuit. We discussed the advantages and limitations of amp clamps and demonstrated the use of a representative example of an amp clamp in several applications. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource, and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.